the channel with right now. I'm just with my man. They know who my other man is. Everybody know who my man is. So I'ma just leave it at this. Right here, I'm with my man. We talking, we chopping it up. Let's talk about our Def Jam days. Let's talk about that. Oh, Def Jam talk about that? Yes, sir. We had, we had a ball in there. Yeah. Man, listen. We had an excellent time. <laughs> excellent time. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Recruit, huh? recruit, Shit like that, man. Now I tell you, everybody know, if my son never went to jail, it would have been fucking problems. Cause they already know his name was the problem child. Three days later. I left Def Jam, okay? They dropped you. My brother, my son, you got a better chance getting Jay-Z to talk about Dame Dash. <laughs> then you got <laughs> getting up me to get with you to sit and talk about Hassan Campbell. <clears throat> now, are there some things I dislike about Hassan Campbell? Yes. I'm quite sure there's things about me he dislike. There's things I dislike about my children, my own damn kids. Okay? My mama. And I'm quite sure there's things my mama don't like about me and my kids don't like about me. That's normal. It's normal to not like some things about people. It's okay. It doesn't make it the end of the world. Is that still family? Yes, absolutely. Do I wish to sit down with any of you certified Hassan Campbell haters? No, not ever. Anything I have to say to Hassan, I say to Hassan first, and then I say on my YouTube channel second. So let me say that again. Anything I have to say to Hassan, I say to Hassan Campbell first, okay? Then I bring it here. I, talk, I, don't, I don't need to sit with you to talk about Hassan when I could talk to her song. Like, my brother, my son. You're corny for that. You're a piece of shit for that, my son. I'm keeping it real with you. And I, and like, that's, you're a piece of shit. Okay, so whatever you have to say to me, you can say it to the public because all I, again, anything I have to say about her song, I call him up. I got his number. I call him up. Let's get into it because I'm, like I said, everything from my, I, from, from where I, my point is transparent. Okay, how do you niggas turn into this shit? You have my number, somebody I consider my friend, and you didn't call my phone and ask me, but you go to the internet to call me faggots? Didn't call you a faggot. I said, if that's what you're doing, that's some faggot stuff. That's faggot shit. I'm keeping it real. That's faggot shit. You a faggot for that. Okay, so this shit is beyond me, beloved. This is what it's come to. Yes, this is what it's come to. It, it's, it's like this, my son. If, okay, you went out there, and I'm talking to you, my son. I'm gonna talk to you directly, okay? Because I don't know them other people, but I believed in you, and I'm fucking disappointed. Like, because I really, really believed in you. I wanted to believe in you, okay? But you're a fraud. My brother, my son. I don't care how much money you making. I really don't. I, you check my son net worth, okay? My son, th at the top it say a half a million, but this one here say, my son net worth or net income is estimated to be between one million and five million dollars. He has made such amount of wealth from his primary career as a rapper. That's how I saw my son. He told me, I live in a doorman building. I don't care how much money you making. I really don't. Okay, and Tamika Mallory running around with three, four thousand dollar uh, purses on. I mean, if you for the people, what you need a three, four thousand dollar purse for? You see the self hate? Like they, they really about change and, and and doing productive things and constructive things in the community, and they're not. That's what I'm sick of. Okay, and everybody has to shut people like that down. Lord, I can't vent through the streets, man. He been through the struggle. He been for a lot. This is what it's come to. And and real quick for you, uh, niggas that love the screen clout chaser. Y'all don't come at Channel Seven, CNN, Fox News, and all these other news stations when they're in your neighborhood putting stories together they come in the community exploit your pain and suffering make a killing off of it and you get nothing in return but it's okay when white people benefit off our pain and suffering but let us do it and let one of us do it and we clout chase it okay and y'all clout chases signs it for black lives matter and y'all getting paid to do that 
in the name of fighting for justice for your people. That's a sellout. Y'all don't come at Channel 7, CNN, Fox News, and all these other news stations when they're in your neighborhood putting stories together. They come in the community, exploit your pain and suffering, make a killing off of it, and you get nothing in return. But it's okay when white people benefit off our pain and suffering. But let us do it, and let one of us do it, and we clout chase it. Mallory and Black Lives Matter and a lot of other people are making money off this culture that said no, they are frauds. They're clout chasers. Y'all don't come at Channel 7, CNN, Fox News, and all these other news stations when they're in your neighborhood putting stories together. They come in the community, exploit your pain and suffering, make a killing off of it, and you get nothing in return. But it's okay when white people benefit off our pain and suffering. But let us do it, and let one of us do it, and we clout chase it. My brother, my son. Is that still family? Yes, absolutely. I don't like. I don't even want to hear your raps no more. Like that's what it's really come to. Cause I, this things I dislike about my children, my own damn kids. Okay, my mama. And I'm quite sure there's things my mama don't like about me, and my kids don't like about me. That's normal. It's normal to not like some things about people. It's okay. It doesn't make it the end of the world. Is that still family? Yes. My brother, my son. <laughs> Yo, the self hate me so real out here. I don't care how much money you making. I really don't. For the people. I'm not saying you can't look nice. If you own, if you earn your money and you make your money, you. I don't care how much money you making. I really don't. I gotta do something. I gotta stay away from you niggas. Cause y'all, y'all niggas ain't no good for nobody, man. Now the question is, my son, how do you niggas turn into this shit?